Welcome to the Scrimmage Law Lunch Break. This is your time of the day to learn a little bit about the law while you enjoy your lunch. The partial federal government shutdown has affected approximately 800,000 federal workers. Last Friday was the first full pay period workers missed due to the shutdown. Now, uh, more than 400,000 workers have been working without pay because their tasks are deemed essential to keep the government functioning. The Internal Revenue Service, for example, ordered 36,000 furloughed employees back to work without pay on Tuesday. Three groups of federal workers have sued the federal government in three separate lawsuits on grounds that it can't compel them to work without pay. They filed a complaint and a request for a temporary restraining order that would either uh, have forced the government to pay the workers or allowed the workers the option to refuse to work without being paid. The three lawsuits come from the National Treasury Employees Union, the National Air Traffic Controllers Association, and a group of five federal workers. All three lawsuits have been consolidated. Now, the plaintiffs in these cases argue that being forced to work without pay violates the Fair Labor Standards Act, but also the 13th Amendment to the United States Constitution. We'll remember the 13th Amendment abolished slavery, but it also abolished involuntary servitude, which is being forced to work uh, against your will, involuntarily. Now, the Trump administration has defended its action using a 135-year-old law called the Anti-Deficiency Act to justify its failure to pay workers. The law essentially says you can't spend money that hasn't been appropriated. However, the president is using the law to also require people to work while they're not being paid. The Anti-Deficiency Act only says you don't get paid because the money hasn't been appropriated. It doesn't say you must, you're required, you're compelled to work. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. At this point, United States District Judge uh, Richard Leon ruled against the federal workers, denying their request for the temporary restraining order. Uh, the judge ruled that such an order would incite chaos uh, and would put the safety of the public in jeopardy. Now, the Fair Labor Standards Act, which is, uh, which is one of the, the main legal grounds uh, underlying these lawsuits, that entitles federal workers to double pay if they're not compensated on time. So a likely outcome is, although the federal employees have lost their request for the temporary restraining order, they will likely win on their Fair Labor Standards Act complaint, and then they'll get double pay for not working. Now, can private sector employers compel their employees to work without pay? Absolutely not. Uh, if you are a private employer and you attempt to compel your workers uh, to work without pay, get ready for the full weight and power of the federal and state governments. Even if, they're, even if in, uh, the federal government's in a partial shutdown, they'll come bearing down on you with civil and criminal penalties. Now, this lawsuit has generated a lot of questions, uh, discussion, concerns among Pennsylvania employers concerning workers' rights to wages and pay. Uh, one of our employment law attorneys, Michael Howard, will provide more guidance to Pennsylvania employers on this important issue on Monday's Scaringi Law Lunch Break. Well, uh, this is about all the time we have today. Uh, I hope uh, you learned a little bit about the law. Thanks for listening, and enjoy your lunch.